Hey everyone, I wanted to give you a few updates today. Um, first off, the reason I am, the main reason I'm here is because my internet went out. That red light is an alarm light, and it means I have no internet. And I am waiting for a tech to come, and they're supposed to be here sometime in the next hour, I think. Um, based on their timeline, they gave me a timeline from noon to four and it is now three o'clock and i haven't heard from them yet so i'm hoping they're still going to show up um so in the meantime i'm going to work on a couple of little projects and show you some planning that i've been doing and uh also i just want to give everyone a heads up that uh this month is going to be very busy for me and i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to put out three videos a, a week like i have been um, but, uh, we'll do what we can. So, um, the first off thing I wanted to talk about is support beams. So I think I mentioned this before in a past video that this one beam support beam here is in a weird spot. It's kind of like when you come through the door, you can't come straight through and I wanted to move this beam. So uh, I was going to move it over a few feet, and um, I was kind of doing some more um, investigation, and uh, what, what was I calling that? The uh, uh, building arch archaeology, so uh, um, architecture archaeology, so uh, I, I think I know, I have a better idea of what's going on now, so um, let me start over here. In this room, this post, I'm pretty certain is original. Now, if you follow it down and look on the floor here, you'll first notice that the metal plate is actually under the concrete. And if you look carefully, you can kind of see that there's a raised area. What that should indicate is that there's actually a footer underneath the concrete pad here to carry the weight. And You'd think that they, if it was done the same way uh, uh, when the house was built, um, it, it would look the same. So I've searched the entire bottom section here. I know there's a lot of stuff here you can't see, but there's no signs of that. There's this additional pole that was added, which was clearly not original. And my thinking was, why would someone do that? And here you can see, it looks like it's the original column, but the metal plate is exposed and it's just on the concrete pad. I don't know if you can see that because of the sun, there you go. Um, and if you go along the wall here, there's no, no, no raised hump or anything. However, right here that was mostly hidden underneath this flooring, there are signs that someone patched some concrete. I have a strong suspicion that that column used to be here and that would explain why they patched the concrete and why they added an additional support pole over here. Um, so it's kind of weird because having it there also was in the doorway so I don't know why they didn't move it further down but this is what they did. Um, so this is what my plan is. My plan, and, and actually another thing before I get to that, um, in order to, you really should have a footing under here. Um, and according to the internet, in most cases, your footing should be about two foot by two foot by a foot thick of concrete below the concrete pad. And people are saying that depending on how heavy your house is, you might get away putting it on the concrete pad, but it might crack. So, to do it properly, it really should be on a, on a footing underneath the concrete pad. So, my hope is that this footing is actually bigger than where it was, and I can move it over um, and basically put that column behind this little piece here. So, it'll be out of the doorway. I can build a door frame there that would be in line with the other one, um, and just to be on the extraordinarily safe side, 
I'm going to add an additional column over here. As you can see, I already bought it and uh, have it mostly ready to go. I basically need to cut out some of the uh, um, wood there and uh, put it in. Also need to move the electrical that's in the way. And I'm also going to put one over here a few feet over from where that existing one is. Um, a couple of reasons for that is because I don't like the location of that because if you look there's the drain for the house and the water line go in that direction let me move that close that door better so we're here going across and pretty much that support beam is theoretically right on top of the water line and sewer line and how I know it goes out that way is because in this closet area here you can see another stub for the sewer and I'm pretty sure the water line also goes out in that direction so um, that's the plan basically move this column over where that piece of wall is add a couple of extra supports just be on the extra safe side. I'm just going to rest those on the concrete pad. And that should be plenty of support for this house. And uh, that's the plan. Um, and yeah, we'll get to that another time. But, <coughs> excuse me. Today... Uh, I, I'm just looking for some low effort projects while I'm waiting for the green light tech. So I want to start peeling up some more of this floor and letting you watch. Um, put you in the uh, tripod here. What I found is that a putty knife and a heat gun will pull it up slowly um, so I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole thing yet um, but I figured I'm at least gonna take out this little hallway area worth of flooring and I think it might potentially be easier in the center than on the edges they might have extra glue on the edges but uh let's have at it
starting to burn some of this. Yeah, as you can see, it's slow going. say this was a quality installation You know, I don't think I'm going to bore you with any more of this, but uh, it's basically going to be more of this for this hallway. And uh, if it gets any easier, maybe I'll turn the video on again and show you it's coming up quicker. But this is probably about how it's going to go. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone.